Uh, so let's get started with After Effects. So I'm going to get launch After Effects down here. It's the AE, the purple uh, box down here. And while we're doing that, uh, it's launching. It's going to take a while because there's lots of effects to load. Um, let's find our project files that we need for this. So you guys have a little globe down here. You could double click that to access the server. Otherwise, you have to hit Command K and um, connect. Um, once you're connected, you'll see this digital server icon on your desktop. So After Effects is loaded. Um, and then I'm going to look for the video and animation folder. And inside that folder, you'll see um, a folder called Video Motion Graphics. You want to click and drag that into your um, first name, last name video folder. Okay, so those are all our asset files. Also, some of you guys might want to take it. There's 12 exercises in here. Um, you might want to take it a little bit further, and I have three enrichment exercise files here. That's if you want to go above and beyond. You get through these really quickly. So let's get to After Effects. Um, now, the first thing it's going to ask you is, um, do we want a, a new project? Do we want a new composition? So remember that we could have one project open and infinity compositions after that. So I'm going to say new project. And um, then I'm going to say, oh, it didn't bring up anything. Okay. And then uh, we're going to uh, file save as. And I want to name this my first name, last name, underscore. And then And I'm saving this into my video folder. Okay, so I'm going to start off with making a new composition, which will bring up the new composition uh, window. And again, I need to name this first name, last name. And the name of this project is going to be called Rotation. So we're going to learn how to change the position and the, and the rotation of an object. And then today's date. Okay. So um, the preset is should be this, 1080 by 29.97. The width should be 1920. The height should be 1080. Frame rate should be 29.97. And the only thing I need to change here is that it's at 10 seconds. I want this animation to be only 5 seconds. We're going to be importing a background so the background color doesn't matter for here. And then I'm going to hit OK. Um, so the first thing I want to do is import my resources, my assets. And by assets, I mean like music or graphics or text um, or Photoshop images, anything that I want to animate. So I'm going to double click here. You could also say file import, but I think it's easier to just double click in the project bin. We're going to go to, hmm, my folder didn't copy over. Is it in here? No, it's enough. So make sure your, your, your folder copies over. There we go. All right, so double click here, and we're going to um, upload two files right now. We want the beach, and we want the beach ball. So I'm clicking and dragging over these two files and say open. And then I want to click and drag the beach down to the timeline. And then I want to click and drag uh, down here the, the beach ball. And right here, I'm going to look at my view, and I want to say to fit so I can see the whole scene. So what we want to do is animate this uh, ball so it looks like it's off stage left right here so it's off the composition and I can zoom out even further so we can see stage left this is off this will not be showing in the final uh, video and then I want it to roll across the stage uh, to stage right so it's off here all right so I'm gonna start off by positioning this off um, on the left side I can click my assets by using the selection tool up here. So usually by default it's already selected, but if you're like clicking around and weird stuff's happening, um, then make sure that you're on your selection tool. So if I twirl down here on my timeline, um, we can see transform and we can see the five basic transforms, but there's a lot of shortcuts that I want you to get familiar with. These are the top of your written directions. Um, so there's actually just letters key letters that you could select um, just to bring up basic transforms. So we have anchor, we have position, 
and notice that it's changing every time I'm hitting each of those keys. So the first one that I want to animate is the position of this bass, this beach ball. So I want it to start here, and then I want to animate the position so it ends up over here. So I'm going to leave it at position. I hit P for position. I'm going to click on the stopwatch saying that I want to start my uh, animation process. I want to animate this ball, and I'm going to move to um, the five-second mark. And now I want to change the position. So I could either do this by selecting the selection tool and clicking and dragging on the asset, or I could actually come down here and this is my X, Y coordinates for position. So X is going to the right or left and Y is up and down. So I could do it that way. I could click and drag over these to change that, or I could use the selection tool to move it. So now, I'm going to bring my current time indicator, this guy right here, back to the very beginning. And I'm going to select the space bar to render. Notice that up here is turning all green. That means it's rendering all my effects. Now it's moving across the stage. So it's you know, off camera and it's coming on and then off again. But it doesn't look natural because it's not rotating. So the other thing I need to animate is the rotation of this beach ball. So I'm going to hit R to bring up rotation. I'm going to bring my, my um, current time indicator over here to the very first frame. And I'm going to hit the stopwatch saying that I want to animate rotation. So at frame one, I want it to um, just hit to start. And then I'm going to go all the way to frame five again. And this time I want to change the properties. This is how many times it's going to rotate. And this is the degrees that I want it to rotate. So I want it to rotate three times while it goes across the stage. Notice that it's no longer green again, which means it's not rendered. So if I bring the current time indicator back, hit the space bar, it's going to render and play. Notice now it is not only moving in position, but it's also rotating across the stage naturally like it's a windy day at the beach. Um, so this is your first animation. You are complete with this. So now what you need to do is render it so that you can send it to mom and say, look, I animated my first animation. So what you're going to do is go to composition and then add to render queue. So your timeline is going to look like it's disappeared, but it's right here. It's just bringing up your render, render queue panel. And uh, where it says output to, I'm going to bring it up here and make sure that it does in fact say my first last name, we named it position rotation, and that it's a quick time movie. And I want to make sure that it's saving to my video motion graphics file, say save, and then I'm going to hit render. So we'll see this little blue and it's rendering all my screens. Now if I go to that folder on my desktop, we should now see a movie that I could open with QuickTime. And here's my first animation. Woohoo! I made a movie. So cool, right? All right, let's keep going.